a breakthrough in Parkinson's treatment. For the very first time, researchers may have uncovered a way to actually slow down or possibly stop the course of Parkinson's disease. Not just ease the symptoms, but directly target what's happening in the brain itself. The treatment is called prosenizumab, and it has the potential to completely change how we think about Parkinson's. If you or someone close to you lives with Parkinson's, this is something you'll want to hear. Let me explain exactly what this could mean for your future. Parkinson's disease is a neurological disorder that currently affects more than 10 million people worldwide. Until now, once the disease began, there was no cure, only temporary relief through medications that manage symptoms. But things are starting to shift. Enter prasinezumab, an experimental drug unlike any of the standard Parkinson's medicines available today. Instead of simply covering up the signs of the disease, it aims to slow the condition itself. How? By focusing on a protein known as alpha-synuclein, one of the main culprits behind the damage in Parkinson's. Scientists have found that clumps of this protein build up inside the brain, harming nerve cells and contributing to their death. Presinezumab was designed to track down these protein clumps, bind to them, and clear them away before they cause further harm. Think of it as a cleanup team sent straight into the brain to deal with the source of the problem. And here's the exciting part. In clinical testing, the results have been very promising. In a large study called Pasadena, more than 580 patients with early Parkinson's joined an 18-month trial. Half received the usual medications like levodopa, while the other half got those medications plus presinezumab. The outcome... Patients who received presinezumab experienced slower decline in movement and daily function, meaning they were able to walk, move, and handle everyday tasks better than those who didn't get the drug. Even more, these improvements lasted throughout the two years of monitoring, and possibly longer. In fact, those who continued in an open-label extension study kept showing benefit over time. And for older adults already on levodopa, the addition of prosinezumab seemed to give even stronger protection. It didn't just work, it worked better alongside standard treatment. Of course, safety is always the first concern, especially in older adults. But here too, prosinezumab has shown encouraging results. More than 900 people have now received the drug, some for as long as five years, and the side effects have been minimal. The treatment has been well tolerated, with no serious safety red flags reported. That makes it not just effective, but also unusually safe compared to many new therapies. Picture this. You've just been diagnosed with Parkinson's. You're still independent, still enjoying life with your family, still active. Instead of watching your symptoms gradually worsen, your doctor prescribes a therapy that may actually hold the disease back. You keep taking your usual medicines, but with presinezumab, you add a shield against further decline. That's the kind of hope this treatment represents. And the progress is real. The drug is now in phase three clinical trials, the last step before it can be approved worldwide. Most Parkinson's medications, like dopamine agonists or levodopa, help with symptoms temporarily, but they don't touch the disease itself. Prasinezumab is different. By targeting alpha-synuclein buildup, it belongs to a new category called disease-modifying therapies, the type of breakthrough scientists have been chasing for decades. If it succeeds in phase three, it could become the very first drug to slow Parkinson's at its root, not just cover it up. That would be nothing short of revolutionary. So, what should you know right now? First, Prasinezumab isn't on pharmacy shelves yet. It's still under investigation. But the fact that a major global company like Roche is pushing it forward into the final trial phase shows just how much confidence they have in it. Second, if you or someone you love has early Parkinson's, especially if you're already taking levodopa, it's worth asking your doctor about ongoing or upcoming clinical trials. And third, remember this. This isn't the only therapy being developed. More treatments like it are on the way, proving that the scientific community is determined to finally slow down Parkinson's in our lifetime. If you found this video useful, 
consider subscribing to Senior Health Formula. We make complex medical research easy to understand for real people, especially seniors and families. And if someone you love is living with Parkinson's, please share this with them. It could open up new hope and new conversations. Stay positive, stay informed, and as always, take good care of yourself.